Figueroa and puts it up off the glass for two. It's a six-point McDonough lead, 47-41. The young sophomore comes in with a big hoop. That's Peter King blocked by McCoy. Lackey would like King to shoot the ball each and every time. That's not the shot McDonough wanted. Hawkins out on the wing, gets it to McCoy. It's a six-point McDonough lead. McCoy drives the lane, Chase with the foul inside. And that's four on Travis Chase. It was a shooting foul, but both teams are now in the bonus with 3.29 left in the game. Doug Rowland is going to come back in for Peter King after that brief rest. Yeah. Jerry Parker is going to give uh, Moses Figueroa a breather. And at the line, Mark McCoy has a chance to knock this lead back down to four. His 24th point of the ball game. As we said, average is 30. He's well on his way to that. The second shot, up and in. A four-point McDonough lead, 47-43. Full court man pressure by Lackey. Now Henson coming up the trap. Pass to Argabright. He throws it back, past midcourt to Roland. Over and back, and Lackey will take over. The defensive switch. Creates a turnover, and Lackey has a chance to crawl back within two. That time the Rams dribble right into the trap. No one to pass it to, and Lackey capitalizes on the turnover. Mike Batoon bringing it over midcourt. To Antoine Hawkins, fakes the three. Klopfler with the ball. Back to Batoon. To Mark McCoy, way downtown. The three-pointer off the rim, no good. Chase with the rebound. Went up high to get that one. See what McDonough runs on this offensive set. Lackey back to a man-to-man. -man. Down to two minutes, 50 seconds left in the game. McDonough leads by four. Roland into Parker, working on Kloffler. A foul before the shot. It's a good foul by Kloffler because, um, quite frankly, Parker had the ball down on the low block. Could have just probably laid it in or dunked it, but put the big man in the line and make him score him from there. Parker ready to shoot, attempt the one and one, and Jerry has yet to score in the ball game. Poplar and Hawkins coming out back in, Waitman. Jerry had um, a couple of brothers that played at McDonough. One, Jimmy went to Drexel. Waitman and Henson back in for the Chargers, and Henson gets the rebound on the miss by Parker. So it's still a four-point game as Batoon comes over half court. McDonough still in that man defense. It's Roland on Batoon. The pick by Chesley. The dish off to McCoy, running baseline. Blocked underneath, gets the ball back, puts it off the glass, and it's now a two-point lead. Good, strong move by McCoy. After the block, get the rebound, go right back to the glass, and now he steals it again. Three-quarter court pressure, McCoy with the steal. Working on Chase. And the back official didn't know how to call it, but they're going to say Chase knocked it out, and Lackey gets the ball. McCoy limping as he gets to the top of the key. The McD McDonough Rams call a timeout. 2.17 left in the fourth quarter. We got a great one going on. Stick around. It's McDonough, 47, Lackey, 45. Matt Ballin and Roy Anish back at Lackey High School. Two minutes, 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. McDonough leads Lackey 47 to 45. Mike Batoon inbounds to McCoy. Now you see Short playing man defense on McCoy. Argerbright moves over to cover Henson. It's Batoon with the shot, a three-pointer, and Lackey takes the lead. His fifth point of the game, and Lackey gets the lead. And again, the pressure. This time, Roland gets it to Figueroa over half court. Figueroa looking for Chase. Chase wasn't looking for the pass. Turnover, McDonough. McDonough, I believe, led 47-41. Lackey scored the last seven. What a hoop, big hoop by Batoon. It's only his second basket of the game, but it couldn't come at a more op opportune time. And Lackey hasn't led for quite some time. I'd say that's their first lead since the second quarter. Now they lead by one, 48 to 47, under two minutes in the ball game. They look like they're just trying to milk some time off the clock. A bad pass by Henson, picked off by Argerbright. 
Roland to Figueroa, off the glass for two, McDonough back in the lead. Moses with his nine point of the game, took it strong to the hoop, and now McDonough leads. But here comes number 24 again over half court. McCoy, the pass to Chesley, out to Henson. McDonough starting to trap on defense. It's Roland and Argerbright have Henson tied up, and Henson calls a timeout Smart on the call. sideline. Smart call by Larry Henson. He was right near Coach Chris Wolf, so he got a little assistance, good coaching help that time from Coach Wolf. These teams will meet again on, uh, looks like, Friday, January the 31st. And uh, before the season started, and after the first few games, Matt, when I looked at these two ball clubs, I didn't know where the wins and losses would take place, but I have predict now, and I predict again, these two teams will split the two games. They're that closely matched in talent. You can see on the uh, monitor there, the stands starting to shake, the fans getting into this ball game. I read a quote in the uh, paper, and if I'm not incorrect, I think Chris Wolf said a bit of a surprise, his team's record at this point in the season. Yes, I mean, it's, it's one of the better lackey teams in the last seven or eight years, and he's gotten some good play out of Batoon. Of course, uh, Mark McCoy's just a superstar and Chesley's helped him on the boards, and then he's been able to fit in uh, Larry Henson and John Waitman and Benny Batoon and just work some parts in, and Lackey's got a real nice ball club. Back to action, McDonough leading by one, a minute and 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. James Short harassing McCoy out near half court. It's Roland. Well, Chesley now with the shot off the rim, no good. Chase with the rebound. Here's a big defensive trip for Lackey with less than a minute. Platoon covering Roland, Roland over half court, and he calls a timeout, so we'll step aside. 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. McDonough, 49, Lackey, 48. More of the TV 15 game of the week here on Jones Communications, coming your way in a moment. <laughs> 53 seconds left, fourth quarter. McDonough clinging to a one-point lead at Lackey. Man-to-man -man pressure. Brian Carter back in the ball game. He's out there harassing Doug Rowland. Argerbright with the ball, gets it back to Rowland. Waitman comes off his man to cover him. Chase was open underneath, but a foul. Waitman's third. Doug kind of pushed Waitman off. It's going to come down as Chris Wolf predicted. Matt, who can make free throws will win this ball game. Andrew Argerbright, Doug Rowland, James Short, Moses Figueroa, and Travis Chase. And in for McDonough. And you know, I think, on the next trip down, Mark McCoy is going to take the penetration shot. The one and one. The first shot's up and in. That's Rowland's ninth point of the game. In for Lackey, Corey Chesley, Larry Henson, Mike Batum, John Waitman, and Mark McCoy. A two-point, McDonough lead with 39 seconds left in the game. The second shot off the side of the rim, no good. McCoy comes down with it. McCoy will make a move to the basket. James Short with the coverage. McCoy goes behind his back, drives in the lane, off the back of the rim. We're tied at 50. Didn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. And now the full court pressure again from McDonough Lackey. wants a time. Map is calling for it. Nobody sees now. Finally, Doug Rowland calls a timeout with 18 seconds left in the game. Well, for right, for once we're right, Roy. We thought this would be a close one. 50 to 50 with 18 seconds left. And what I think Coach Mappus will try to do, and then let me tell you what Coach Wolf will try to do to combat that. Mappus has a game-winning play where he runs a player off a double pick along the baseline for a jumper in the corner. Chris Wolf, having worked with Mappus, knows that. I think he's going to pressure and try to force Madonna into more of a one-on-one -on -one game rather than to sit back in a zone and let Mappus try to set up this jumper. And my guess, if Madonna can do it, they'll want James Short to shoot the jumper or Doug Rowland uh, on the right baseline. And remember, both teams are in the bonus here, so you can't afford even a touch foul, or you're going to send them to the line. And as you see in so many ball games, it's not the first shot that wins, just that, like the Thomas Stone game against Calvert. 
Sean Perkins shoots with one second. The ball is errant. Sean Butler picks it up and lay it in. The second shot often wins. Lackey's coming after him. Lackey doesn't want him to have any shots. Full court man pressure. McCoy on Roland. What a matchup. Down to 14 seconds. Roland over half court. A dangerous pass to Short. Short gets passed by Batum. Dribbles in. The charge. Now they're going to call a travel. Corey Chesley had position underneath. They Ches call traveling with eight seconds left. Chesley played outstanding defense. Chesley played outstanding defense. He took the baseline away from Short, and he had nowhere to go. I don't know if they were aware of the time on the clock or not. It seemed like they were just trying to rush, trying to force something. Still eight seconds left, and when we come back, Lackey will take over. Eight seconds left in the game. Lackey, 50. McDonough, 50. We'll be back after this. Alan Royanish back at Lackey High School. We got a good one going here. All tied at 50 with eight seconds left. We're talking about Lackey strategy. And I don't think it takes a brain trust to know that Mark McCoy is going to make a move with about five seconds. He's going to maybe pump fake and shoot over top of the defender. McDonough is going to try to make them use as much clock as they can to bring the ball up the floor. McDonough now with the man pressure. I think the key to stopping McCoy is don't let him get the ball. Well, they couldn't do that. He gets it, but they trap him in the corner. Wow, short and left on the clock. Henson with one second. The three-pointer is up. Oh, it's in and out, and we're going good. to overtime. Whoa! How far down the ring Woo. did that ball go? I think oh, my goodness. It looked like the one was gone off the clock, but the buzzer hadn't go gone off. He got it off just in time. Woo! The ball actually went inside the rim, ringed around twice, and popped back out. I don't know if we could take one more quarter of this, Roy. Oh, sure. This is great. <laughs> I love it. Both teams at the half-century mark. This one was. We've been blessed with some great games this season. The team's uh, Lackey at 7-3, and three, McDonough at 7-4, and four, and we're headed to overtime. You have to wonder, as we mentioned in the first half, the fatigue factor has to be present. These teams have played very, very good defense. Both coaches bringing in a big man. John Waitman will return. He's 6'4". Jerry Parker, 6'7", is going to return for McDonough. Well, we'll go ahead and step aside before we get started with the extra session. McDonough 50, Lackey 50. We'll have overtime for you from Lackey High School on Jones Communications Game of the Week right after this. High School for quarter number five. It's a four-minute overtime period. McDonough and Lackey tied at 50. Chesley and Parker out for the jump ball. That's, that, the official did not throw that ball. No, he <laughs> kind of threw it back over his head, which didn't help the players out too much. We'll try it again. <laughs> Four-minute overtime. That's, that's why they have the possession arrow. <laughs> oh, look at that, that toss. <laughs> And Parker gets it out to Figueroa. Chris Wolf didn't like that toss too much. Figueroa on the drive. Is he going to get Chesley? And that'll be five on Corey. They call the block underneath. And Corey Chesley doesn't look. Yeah, that's on Corey Chesley. And he's gone. Chesley with a, an outstanding game. He finishes with seven points. But that does not tell his true value in this game. Like the hardware store, his true value was on the boards. Yeah, just three seconds into overtime, Chesley fouls out. When the official goes over to talk to Chris Wolf about it, the first thing he says is, hey, I didn't like that jump ball too much. <laughs> That's how my guy got fouled out. So Klopfler off the bench, in for Chesley. Chesley had a very good game. He's very active on the boards, did a great job. Muscled up, played good defense. Moses Figueroa at the line is one for two. Has nine points in the game, looking for double figures and a, and a McDonough lead. We're still in the bonus. The first shot up and in. So McDonough leads 51 to 50. Just getting started in overtime. The second shot good as well. 11 for Moses, the Michigan transfer. 
Looks like the same players who ended the fourth quarter start out for overtime. Half court trap. Batoon, the errant pass over Henson's head. Chris Wolf makes the catch. Change in defensive strategy by McDonough, and, and Lackey didn't pick it up, and throws the ball out of bounds. Chase into Roland to a wide open James Short, drives in the middle over Henson. That's Off his, sh that's his shot. He loves that. Enter the lane with the left-hand dribble, go straight up in the air and get the kiss off the uh, rim. Again, some backcourt pressure. Waitman across court to Batoon, picked off by Figueroa. And it's now a six-point McDonough lead. Lackey needs a timeout here. Just 35 seconds into this overtime, Lackey's fallen behind by six. McDonough's biggest lead of the entire game was seven. Waitman gets it down in the corner to Henson. McCoy's open over here for the three. They don't see him. Henson to Batoon. He's they being don't double team. They can't find McCoy. Back to Henson. Out near half court. He's got to be careful. Gets it to Batoon. To McCoy for three. No fakes it. Down inside to Waitman. Waitman over Chase. Too strong off the glass. Plotler had a hand on it. And James Short tracks it down. Good defensive series there for McDonough. Ran almost 40 seconds off the clock and st stopped the score. Roland working on Batoon. A lot of hand checking, a lot of hand checking. Five seconds and a five second call. Good call. Mike Gomes set to check in for Lackey. Good solid defense by um, Mike Batoon. And I've been impressed. Uh, Batoon only a junior, 5'10", about 160, 165 pounds. Handles the ball a lot, plays good solid defense. Gomes is in for Klopfler, the pass. Boy, down the baseline for the jam. They've now, been going to that play all night. Now Lackey going with a little trap. Now Roland's got to pass the ball. Last time he got caught with the five seconds. 56-52, Roland on the drive. Over wow, wild, wild shot. Mike Batoon with the rebound. We're wild to shot. Two minutes, 10 seconds left here in overtime. Batoon gets it to McCoy. Short's working on him. Gomes. In the corner, put to, back to Batoon. McCoy clear on the other side of the court. The pass for Henson knocked away. Players scrambling on the floor. Possession, Lackey. Arrow. Roland had it. Good play by uh, Gomes to get in there and tie him up. And Lackey keeps it. And Lackey hangs in there. It looks like they're going to be uh, have a lead extended against them, and they just keep fighting back. And there's McCoy on top. Got it to the right guy, short fouls him, and he'll go to the line. And he can bring the lead right back to two. So Magdana sprung out with a six-point lead, had the ball, took a er errant shot, and now Lackey has a chance to cut it back to two. 56-52, McDonough, 149 left in the extra period. McCoy with 31 on the night. Given 32, he hits the pressure free throw. He has missed three. one one free throw the whole evening. Nine out of ten, it's a two-point McDonough lead, and here comes the full court pressure. Roland to Chase. Roland long down court to Argerbright. Wide open. Back to Chase, and McDonough sets up the offense. See what kind of offense they set. Argerbright breaks the three, drives on Gomes, puts the shot up. Off the back of the rim, no good. Chase battling for the rebound, tips it back up top to Roland. Roland back inside to Chase, working on Waitman. The turnaround jump were good. The baseline J, big shot by Chase, is eighth point. Travis is the unsung offensive player. McCoy, Batoon, his pass Chase. intended for Waitman, batted down. Chase with a big defensive play on the other end. Now it's a four-point game. Now they're going to have to foul. Mike Batoon dives in on Roland with one minute and five seconds left. McDonough leads by four. Batoon's second foul, which it, when you're in overtime really doesn't make a big difference. Let's see what Roland has done. He's been to the line twice. He's made one. One for two. How many points in the ballgame? Nine. Nine mm -hmm. thus far. Doug, senior point guard. Big free throw there. 10 points on the game. Moves the lead to what, Matt? Five? Five points. 59-54. Roland listed at 
Hit a couple of early three-pointers, then held scoreless. Looking to add to his total, misses there. Travis Chase, Chase again. Outruns Waitman to the rebound. One minute exactly left, McDonough sitting on up here. They get it out to Figueroa. Lackey goes to man defense. Inside 50 seconds now. Figueroa travels. Tried to do too much. So they didn't have to foul, they'll get the ball back. So, and Chris if Wolf, Lackey, I think, upset at the scorekeeper. I think the clock kept moving there, or at least he thought it did. He needs, they, if they can get a bucket here, they're going to be right back in it. But they've got to score on this trip. Got to score quickly down to 34 seconds. Waitman is wide open. Gomes to Waitman, double team. Gets the shot and up. Down and he goes. Oh, my goodness. John Waitman, what a shot. Figueroa, and that should be his fourth. And John Waitman, with probably the biggest basket of his career, can bring the lead right back down to two. I didn't think there was any way he'd get that shot off. Two guys draped on him, and it goes up and rolls in. He was open early, though, and he got he had excellent post position there. A three-point lead, now two points. Lackey right back in it, and there's 30 seconds left. They've got to play some defense here. Figueroa drives into the lane, dishes off to Argabright, off the glass, the lead's back to four. McDonough sure doesn't hold the ball, do they? I think Lackey wanted to press. They didn't have time to set it up. McDonough was already down at their end of the court. Long pass, ill-advised, picked off by Figueroa, and Waitman has to foul him. That's the fourth foul on um, Waitman. Travis is uh, kind of exulting at midcourt, and maybe just a smidgen early. Looked like Mike Batoon tried a court-wide pass. I can only say I was at this Thomas Stone Calvert game. Calvert was up five with 19 seconds to go. The only way that Calvert could have lost the game, they did. They fouled at midcourt <laughs> and a technical foul. Stone, four shots plus the ball back and wins at the buzzer. Well, we'll see if something like that will transpire here tonight. It's McDonough 61, Lackey 57. We've got a timeout on the court, 14 seconds left in overtime. We'll be back with more on the TV 15 game of the week after this. Lackey High School, 14 seconds left in the overtime period. McDonough leading 61 to 57. Moses Figueroa at the line. Every other McDonough player back on the other side of half court. Figueroa makes it, and it's a five point lead. That is Figueroa's 14th point. Not out of reach yet. Six point lead. 63 to 57. Now they need a quick score. They need a quick three by Mark. McCoy will take the quick Whoa. two, he'll dunk it in. Eight seconds left, and they call a timeout. That took eight seconds. So eight seconds run off the clock, and it's still a four-point lead. They're gonna need a steal. I don't, I don't think they can foul. If they could steal down here and get another bucket, then they can foul. There you get a look at the lackey huddle. Chris Wolf talking to his players. Mark McCoy has really put on a show here. With those six points he has in overtime, he has 35 of their 59 points. And if I'm not incorrect, that's more than half, isn't it? <laughs> Just that's, a little bit. I think you learned that good at Towson State. Yeah, so th this will make five games this season where he has scored over half of Lackey's points. And if the score holds as it is, the McDonough Rams will move to eight and four. Lackey will fall to seven and four. Remember, this is a non-conference game. What they've got to do, overplay the ball, hope for the steal. If they do not get the steal, foul immediately. 